Welcome to the show. My name is Captain Rich Stanzik. My family owns and operates Bud Mary's Marina in Isla Mirada, Florida. We're out here fishing today in Everglades National Park in our backyard, uh, very southwestern part of Florida, about as far southwest as you can get. It's beautiful country back here, as you can see. It's mid-November, nice and sunny, about 75 degrees, where it's snowing in a lot of other areas in the country, so it's definitely a place you want to be. Uh, we're out here trying to catch snook, redfish, drum, trout, tarpon, whatever wants to cooperate. We got a couple of our friends on the boat today. Uh, Ron Madra, who's a well-known sports photographer, shot for Sports Illustrated for uh, over 30 years. He's done a lot of covers. Uh, we're gonna try to catch a nice fish today that he can get on camera for us, get a real, you know, wall hanger picture. Uh, and also, can't forget my dad, Captain Richard Stanzik Sr. He's out here today too. He's usually lucky charm. Let's uh, let's go see what we can catch. All right, well, we're going to try something a little unconventional here. We got some crabs, uh, redfish drum love crabs. We don't usually fish for them too much with them because the crabs are a little bit expensive, but uh, we got a few today and we got some bigger ones. Um, and with the bigger bait, a lot of times you get a bigger fish because especially with a crab, a smaller fish can't eat it. So we're going to try to throw them out there, uh, see what happens, see what we get. We take these crabs, you know, and we usually drill a little hole just kind of in the corner of his shell there without getting in the meat so we don't kill them. Um, and then you just kind of put your hook right through there. And he's wiggling and ready to go. <laughs> Let's see what we get. All right, I think he's down there near the bottom. Start digging them around here. Up there, Mike. Too big for him. He's coming back for it. There he is. Big fish on the crab. <laughs> Haven't seen him yet, but he's got a big. Oh, nice fish. Yeah, this toad. Toad redfish. Man, these things can pull. Well, you lift my lift, take a picture of those. Patty! Ah, crash. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Beautiful Florida Keys redfish. There he goes. All right, redfish on the crab. Oh, look at this one. Oh, Ron's got a monster on there. Ooh, Ron's got a monster on there. Holy cow, All right, beauty. All right, Ron's got to take a few steps up there and just kind of lead him right to me. Yeah. <laughs> he appreciates that. All right. We got a redfish blitz yeah. going on right now. Redfish blitz. Yeah, you don't see this too often. It'll just just happen on a change of the tide, but there's a, there's a bunch of real big fish right here. We've caught a, about seven or eight of them already, and one Ricky has 15 pounds. All right, I can hold. Look at that. Yep. Beautiful redfish. Triple fish eater. Big fish, Ron. That's a big fish. Pull on him, Ron. Pull on him, Captain Ron. Another fat redfish. These are beauties for this area. You know, we get a lot of smaller redfish. You know, two to five, six pounds. But you know, we've caught some eight, ten pounders. I think got a fifteen pounder earlier. Uh, you know, about as big as we really see them in the bay here. So this one's not all that huge, but Ron here I think has a good one. I have no idea. Look at that red fish. Hey! Oh, God! Louisiana redfish! Yeah! What we're talking about, Captain Ron, we've caught 20 of these big redfish. They're blitzing. You know, they're on a spot out here. Some of these fish have been up to 15 pounds. These are probably 8 to 10 pounders right here. 
Boy, these will give you all you can handle on these light rods. Absolutely what a spectacular. Beautiful thing to see. What do you say? We release? Yeah. Back to fishing. Whoa. Fight them hard. Fight them hard. Right? Short came up on him. But he didn't eat him. Cobia. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Cobia. All right, that's a cobia. I had the big one on. It was Get these guys out in the Gulf. This is a small one, but they're a lot of fun on light tackle. Pull good. All right, they're great. Goliath grouper here. Drop the pin fish down on a heavier jig uh, on the bottom and pull this guy up. These guys can grow to be, uh, you know, around 800 pounds. They get really, really big. Um, you're not supposed to pull them out of the water, but when they're small like this, you can take the hook out of their mouth and just get a big yeah. of them. So we're going to drop him back in, let him go. Beautiful fish. All right. All right. Well, we threw the crab out there like we did earlier this morning and uh, got a real big bite. I think we got a big big redfish on here. He looks uh, he looks like size very large. One of the biggest ones I've ever seen. Ronnie's over here in the water. Right, sure. Got him. Good job. Beautiful fish. Holy cow. Holy cow. What's that? That is a slob. Wow. All right. Isla Mirada, where all your dreams come true. an exciting day out in the backcountry today. I had, you know, my dad, our friend Ron here. Uh, we caught a bunch of different stuff. Uh, it was kind of filled with a lot of heartbreak. We lost a few really big snook. Um, sharks ate them. They broke off, went through leaders. Uh, it was upsetting. Dad here usually does pretty good, but he kind of let me down today. What happened to you? What do I say? You know, sometimes you eat the bear, sometimes the bear eats you. I hooked six big snook. I lost them all. And Captain Ron outfished me, but he saved the day. <laughs> yep, Ron did good. We're proud of him. And that one fish made up for all the rest of them. It did. It was an incredible day. 
caught my biggest snook ever. Thanks to Ricky, it was an absolutely awesome day. Yep, yeah, we don't really see many 40 inch snook down here. And uh, this was probably about the second largest one I think I've ever seen landed. Uh, the biggest one ever was my dad. And that was when I had my dad run on the <laughs> boat last year. So uh, <laughs> they're the top two. Oh boy. <laughs> it's the only time in 30 years, the second time I've outfished Richard. Something to be said for that. All right, great job today, guys. Good. <laughs>